Bryce, talk a little bit about Derek Jeter. He's been in the game for 20 years. That's almost your entire life. So, I mean, what's that like just knowing that? Uh, you know, at the beginning of the season, I uh, did an interview and said, you know, he's not just the captain of the Yankees. He's the captain of baseball. And, uh, you know, being able to grow up watching him play in a Yankee uniform uh, was something I, I enjoyed a lot. And, uh, you know, he's, he's the, you know, a true professional, and he's done things his whole career that have made him, you know, one of the best shortstops, if not the best shortstop to ever play the game. He's such a you know great person and such an inspiration to a lot of players on the field. And uh, you know, you just try to go out there and you know try to play hard and try to do things the right way and you know do those kind of things like he does every single night. What was it about Derek Jeter that really attracted you to him? I think uh, the way he carries himself. Um, you know, my dad was always, to, you know, whenever games were on ESPN, you know, the Yankees are always on TV, you know, so whenever they're on ESPN, my dad was always, you know, watch Derek Jeter, watch the way he plays the game, watch how he leads, you know, and whenever, you know, my dad talks about leading, you know, it always goes back to Derek Jeter. Whenever someone talks about being a leader, it always goes back to thinking about Derek Jeter and how he leads. And now, even though you're playing third base, you came up as a shortstop, and uh, obviously that's the position that Jeter's played the last 20 years. Uh, so what was that like, kind of trying to uh, maybe emulate his your game after his? You know, a little bit. I mean, obviously he had his own style. I mean, I think everyone wanted to do the jump throw he did, you know, in the hole. I think that's something that everyone tried to do. I think I, I still try to do it. Obviously my style is different than his, but that's the play that everyone tried to do. I always love facing the best. Uh, there's always something about when you go up against the best that uh, you want to get those guys out, and uh, that's why I always enjoy facing him. Will that be a face that you miss pitching against? Uh, in a way, yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice for him to be at home in Tampa, retired, <laughs> while he watches the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think, you know, just the, you think of just what a class act he is. You know, not only off the field, but, uh, you know, the way he carries himself on the field. You know, I have a lot of respect for guys that play the game the right way. And uh, when you think about guys like that, you know, he's, he's right at the top of the list for me. So, uh, you know, I, I'm glad I got to play against him a few times. Uh, not too much, but I'm glad I got to do it. And uh, I say I pitched against him and, uh, you know, looking forward to uh, you know his last year. And what was your most memorable part about that experience of pitching, Tim, when you did? Um, well, you know, I think you know just playing the Yankees for the first time. Obviously, uh, you know, the, us and them are probably the two most like storied franchises as far as uh, history and things like that go. So, uh, you know, to get to play against them in LA and you know have the hype and the hoopla that come with playing the Yankees is uh, you know it's pretty fun. What do you think is going to be Derek Jeter's legacy that he's going to leave on the game of baseball? Well, I just think everybody, you know, whether you like him or not, just the, the respect you have to have for the way he played the game. You know, I think that's, uh, you know, he's a winner. You know, he won every, you know, every part of his career. He's won a ton of World Series, and uh, his postseason performance speaks for itself. So, uh, you know, when you think about a great player, a Hall of Fame player, you think about, uh, obviously, his skill set, but, uh, you know, more than anything, the wins and losses. And, uh, you know, he won a lot, and that's, uh, you know, ultimately that's what he's going to be remembered for. How would you define him? Uh, it's, that's hard, you know. Um, I think he represents baseball, you know. Um, I mean, any player you're going to ask is, is fun as Jeter, you know, even if you play against him, you know, it's, everything he does is special, you know. Um, I mean, I can that was speechless when I saw that commercial, the get ready commercial, it was, it was something special. So, I mean, everything he does is special. When I first came up as a young guy in 2011, he was maybe one of the first guys that said something to me about congratulations or, hey, you got good mm -hmm. stuff and stuff like that. And, I mean, that just sticks with you when you're a young player and a, a guy. And you're a Long Island guy, so how much did you enjoy watching him play when you were growing up? A ton, you know what I mean. That was that was who everyone was was dreaming to be uh, was to be Derek Jeter. You know what I mean. He came up here at a young age and he stuck right away. You know the postseason memories that he's created. I think um, you know as a as a kid growing up watching him play in the postseason and then being able to see him play in the postseason, um, actually being able to beat him in the postseason. Um, you know, every time he comes to the plate, whether it's whether it is the postseason or the regular season, um, you feel like something good is going to happen and. Uh, you know his career is his career has been incredible. Being from Venezuela, how much of an inspiration was Derek Jeter to you when you were a younger kid? Oh, you know a lot because I used to play shortstop too. He's for me, he's one of the best players in the game. Uh, long time, so you know I, he have a nice career. You know, and you know I wanted to have a a career at least 80 percent of the success that he has. Yeah, you know I faced him uh, a couple years ago when they came to Cleveland and. Uh, you know, it's kind of one of those things where, you're, because it is Derek Jeter, you know, it's kind of one of those at bats or a couple of bats where you probably remember it a little bit more so than others just because of who he is. Is there anything from his game that you try to take and apply to yours, whether on or off the field? Uh, everything. Uh, the way he carries himself, to you know, how good of a person he is, and respects everybody in the game. Um, 
he's always just so humble and so easy to talk to. Uh, he has all the power in the world. He's just a superstar. But at the same time, you know, he takes his time out just to talk to you, shake your hand, and make sure you're doing all right. It's awesome. The first time uh, I faced him was in spring training, and um, that was crazy for me. Just, you know, I, I couldn't believe he was in the box. And uh, I'm glad that I faced him in spring training and got that out of the way because I didn't want to be in awe, you know, on the mound in an actual game. There's a lot of people who knows that Derek's one of my idol, uh, right next to Omar Vizquela. And, uh, you know, to be able to, to play, you know, against him, uh, you know, that, that really make me feel really good and, you know, and blessed to, you know, actually happen and actually, you know, have a relationship with him, talking to him. And, you know, just, you know since the first time you, you met him, you can see how humble and how great person he is. Yeah, I'm sure like a lot of people uh, in the game and around the game, uh, you know, Derek Jeter has always been my favorite player growing up. And to have the honor and privilege to play against him on the same field was, uh, was pretty special. What part of his game are you trying to apply to yours, if, whether it's on or off the field? Uh, the, the selflessness, you know, uh, the, the will to win and, you know, wanting to be a team player and, and do whatever your team needs that night to affect the ball game. And, you know, on and off the field, a great teammate, great person, and you know, someone who really, you know, went about life in, in a winning way and a winning attitude. Uh, when I was growing up, the catch he made in the stands and the and the, the play against Oakland where he saved the game and the, and the walk-off homer in the World Series, just moments like that that really uh, make you remember a guy like him and him playing as long as he has and being a Yankee, it's, uh, it's a special thing. He is my idol you know, and I watch him play a lot on TV because I'm from Curacao, you know. I didn't have a chance to watch it in the stadium when I was a kid, was, but I was watching on the TV. What are some of your most memorable moments of Derek Jeter? Oh man, I was a Yankee fan growing up, and and to uh, you know, I, I think everybody's biggest memory is you know Derek Jeter making the play and you know against the Oakland A's. Um, you know, it, those are the plays that you, you know as a shortstop you you wanna you wanna make that play for everybody to be like wow. And, and he you know, fittingly enough, you know the, the captain's the guy who made you know made an amazing play like that, and and you know it changed the face of a series, and and you know really you know, changed the face of the, you know the Yankees being able to. To, being able to win those games. He does everything right on and off the field. He's one of those uh, figures in this game that he's going to be one of those guys that people look up to for generations. You know, uh, his contributions to the game, uh, his contributions off the field have been outstanding. He's a role model for all of us, and he's certainly one of those guys that I look up to and that I look to. Uh, just to see how he conducts himself uh, and, and get advice from him every time I get a chance. I've, I've got the chance to talk to him a couple times and it's been great. He's very open with everybody, uh, even since I was a rookie, very accepting of everybody. So he's one of those uh, people that can't really see anything that he does wrong, but uh, you know, you can't help it but to love a guy like that. So you know, I have a, a great cheater story um, that I'd love to share. I, I made my first All-Star game in 2012, and I was sitting at a table with my my family, and he made it a point to come over and congratulate me. And I felt like, you know, all the rumors and legends about how classy of a guy he was uh, were kind of all came true in a moment. Um, and I've been a Derek Jeter fan, of course, forever, and we're about the same age. But um, he's always a challenging at bat. He's got a great stroke and has gotten countless hits to right center field, which is kind of guys that hit well off me do that because I'm a knuckleballer. Um, but it's been fun to compete against such a classy guy. And that being said, throwing a knuckleball, obviously he's got to remember you for a long, long time because those are very unique. So uh, what's that like kind of presenting a different challenge for a player like that? Well, you know, I, I'd like to think that I have somewhat of an advantage because he doesn't see him day in and day out. At least that's what I tell myself. But, um, you know, I looked. I, I would always go back and look at his at-bats against Tim Wakefield, and that would kind of give me an idea on what he may try to do against me. But, you know, the great thing about Derek and the great thing of, about a knuckleball is he knows what he's getting. I throw a knuckleball every pitch, and his swing rarely changes. It's that patented swing that, that shoots the ball to right center. So it's, it's really a matter of, of who is able to execute on that given day and that's always a fun competition. Derek Cheater, what are your thoughts on him? What he's done for the game of baseball? Um, uh, I, I can't think enough of Derek. I mean, he's, he's meant so much to so many people. He's been a great role model. You never hear anything bad about him. It's always positive. He's such a pro. I think that's, you know, the main thing, the one thing that stands out. You don't see him complaining, arguing. You know, he goes about it, does the job. He's a smart hitter. 
can't pitch him the same way. Uh, he's going to make adjustments. So, uh, you know, that's all part of it, and that's why he's been doing doing what he's doing for so long. It was uh, amazing. You know, you have so much respect for his class act, and uh, just to compete against him, I'm, I'm grateful for. Now, you went home with a nice little souvenir. Oh, yeah, I got a signed ball. I always had to. I, I could have uh, got a jersey, but uh, baseball works fun. Now, what was that like for you, kind of going up to another player and asking for his autograph, and at that being Derek Jeter, legend? You know what? You still don't want to bug, but <laughs> you know what? I'm a fan. I grew up watching him play, and uh, he showed me the right way to do it. Did you throw it in the case just yet? Is it at home? No, it's still in my locker. You know, maybe it's bringing some good luck. But Yeah, you can do a little superstitious thing. You're having a good year so far, so why not leave it there? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're in first place. We're winning, so that's what he's about. He's a great role model for all the you know younger guys coming up and even current players. Um, he just goes about his business the right way and uh, never has any excuses. You know, and just a just a good guy. You know, I got him a signed jersey for me, which I don't do for for hardly ever. I don't, I don't like asking guys for autographs, but you know, having a guy like that who plays the game the right way and um, that I've watched growing up play, you know, I think uh, you know something that you gotta you gotta take advantage of when a reason around, you know. But um, you know, obviously, you know, I played against him. He was a real nice guy. I never really I haven't played really playing against him before, but you know, it's a cool experience, and I uh, wish him all the best in the future. Was there anything different about him when he walked up to the plate compared to the other players in the league? You know, he, he was just real friendly. He's like, hey man. He told me he goes, hey, just take it easy on me today. Well, yeah, and I, you know, I think that's funny when you can crack on yourself about that and be a humble guy. So he seems like he's pretty down to earth and pretty humble about things, which, you know, which I admire. I think that's a, it's a tough thing to find nowadays. I mean, you get to watch him. I mean, he's he's just you think greatness and uh, just what he's brought to the game for so long is just one of those things where, as a kid, you just. You never really thought that you would get this opportunity and to be able to have the opportunity is awesome. As a player, you want to be in that position if you got a chance to get the game-winning hit or make a game-saving play. I mean, that's what we're all, you know, five, six, seven years old in our backyard uh, playing wiffle ball that we want to do, and, and he got to do that, and, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we'll be lucky enough to do that one day. He's a hero. I think uh, the way he played the game and, you know, what he able to do on and off the field, I think... Uh, you know, everybody got to appreciate that. It was, it was unbelievable, you know. You always dream about it. And when that dream came to, you know, you just go, wow. You know, it's really nice to meet you. And uh, you tell, you try to explain everything what you what you did when you was down in Dominican, you know, watching him play. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. You get, you know, pump all over you, your body. Now, what do you think will be his legacy on the game of baseball? Oh, it's, it's not going to be unforgivable. I grew up as a kid watching him, and he's probably everybody's favorite player that's probably my age. So, um, you know, it's just a special experience, and it's cool to see him, uh, you know, cool to see him keep playing. And what's the best part about actually being on the, on the same field as him and, and, and playing against him? I mean, I think, you know, just the opportunity. It's the, you know, biggest stage, biggest lights, uh, and, um, you know, you just... Like I said, you have a day like this and you have an opportunity to go play the Yankees. I mean, how, how much better can I get than that? <laughs> the guys are pro in, in, in every aspect of the word, you know, not just you know, not just on the field, you know. Um, growing growing up and, and, and watching him play, I have a lot of respect for, for not just his ability uh, to play this game for such a long time consistently, but uh, just the way he, he plays the game, uh, he goes about it. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't really know baseball without uh, you know, Derek Jeter. The number one reason is because he's biracial. Um, I'm I'm biracial, um, so it kind of gives. Whenever somebody's the same ethnicity as you or has some of the same ingredients as you, um, as far as your race goes, it's always nice. It gives you that hope. Like, all right, Derek Jeter, we're the same as far as that goes, and um, he made it. He's successful. He stays out of trouble. He keeps his nose clean, and he's a Hall of Fame caliber player. What's stopping me from reaching my potential as well? Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's just nice to uh, play on the same field as somebody that I always looked up to. And uh, I mean, it's, it's really, speech. I'm speechless when it comes to that just because I have looked up to him for so long. Derek Jeter, you got a chance to play against him quite a few times during your career. What was that experience like for you? It's, uh, you know, you see guys on TV and, and you always wonder what it's going to be like, you know, to, to meet them. And, you know, when you're young, you 
you dream of playing in the big leagues, you never know you're actually going to make it or not. But you know, be there and then to be standing on first, and I think that's probably the best part of, of playing first base is getting to, getting to meet guys and getting to know guys. And he's one of those guys that uh, obviously he wants to win the game. That's the biggest thing you notice. But uh, you know, he's a nice guy. He's a guy that uh, have a conversation with you, and, and uh, you know, it's just one of those guys that you'll tell your kids that you got to play against. And when he's in the Hall of Fame, you know. Uh, you know, I competed with that guy, I battled that guy, and, and uh, that's pretty cool to know. You know. I was called up at 20 years old, so I was really young, and you know, it was at the old Yankee Stadium, so I have an opportunity to play you know, at a place with so much history, for one, was great, and then having an opportunity to just take the same field uh, you know, as Derek Jeter looking back at it. You know, it was definitely something that I'll be able to tell my kids and uh, something that I can cherish for a long time, man. And, you know, I'll never forget, I got to second base, and uh, he came up to me and congratulated me. Congratulated me on my first hit and first bag, and and uh, I remember him saying to me, you know, it's pretty cool, right? And I go, yeah, it is pretty cool. He goes, same game, just about forty thousand more people, and, you know. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, you're right. So uh, that's something that I always tell people. I, you know, I never forget him saying to me, just, just uh, you know, being a veteran already at that age, and and still being so uh, open to just embracing, you know, uh, another young player, man. It, it meant a lot, and uh, you know, I, I've I've got a tremendous amount of respect for Derek Jeter and the things that he's accomplished but I think even more so as a, as a human being he, you know he really really uh, seems to be a great guy um, you know an ambassador of our game and uh, you know it's really been a privilege to be able to watch him play and and also share the field with him it's been awesome he's just one of those guys that since oh, that first time I got to second base he's always made a point to come say hi to talk to me and he keeps things personable and you know we know all his stats first battle hall, ballot hall of famer but he's just as good of a guy and that's all you care about when you're playing on the field he treats everyone the same way I mean he's always been an idol of mine I mean mostly any baseball player uh, is a real respectful guy I mean you never hear about his all off the field stuff and that's the thing I respect the most is uh, he's played this game this long and been admired by that many people to have that much respect for is pretty impressive and something to look up to is there anything from his game whether on or off the field like you said that you try to apply to yours no just the way he plays every day uh, he plays hard every day and the only thing he cares about is winning and that's the thing about this game is to win and uh, I think that should be the main focus and I think that's that's been his main focus ever since he's been with the Yankees from the time that you were a kid to up until now what's the one thing that you notice about Derek Jeter whether it's been on or off the field that he just always seems to do whether it's hustle something consistency wise yeah it's uh you know he's always hustle he always when he's out there he gives it 100 percent all the time and that's you know goes a long way you can tell that it rubs off on all the players that he's been with over the years and you know when I was younger I didn't really recognize it but obviously since I've been playing you you recognize it even more and you realize the impact he has on everybody on the field what was it like for you watching Derek Jeter as a young kid and then obviously playing with him and against him at the all-star game uh, honestly I, I grew up in Atlanta a Braves fan, and I wasn't a huge Derek Jeter fan. Um, you know, the Yankees kind of seemed to get the best of my Braves growing up, and 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 he was kind of the face of the Yankees. So I obviously I respected uh, Derek Jeter, we still do, and and his ability and the career he's had. You know, as a kid growing up, you always watched Derek Jeter. You knew who, exactly who he was, and. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure every kid who dreamed of playing baseball, you know, emulated him somehow. You know, I've caught a lot of balls out, out in right field from him, and uh, you know, one always sticks out in mind. Uh, you know, when, when we were playing him, and, and uh, I think Tillman was on the mound when he uh, became the all-time Yankees hit leader. Uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to come to me. I thought about picking it up and putting it in my pocket, but uh, you know, it, it well deserved. And uh, you know, he's a great player. He does unbelievable things on the field and uh you know he's one of a kind jeter and he's with he's with uh jordan so you know jordan's my other guy like i i, I love jordan stuff and and uh for him for him to be you know a part of that you know it is it, definitely you know high up there on my list but i grew up close to the ballpark and uh me and my brother um grew up and we were huge Derek jeter fans and he was pretty much you know honestly my favorite favorite player growing up so many memories of of him you know playing for the yankees and, and doing uh, and winning all those world series and I mean, not only that, just how great of a guy he is. You know, it's, uh, you know, around the league, everybody knows he's a great guy. He's he's one of the the great ambassadors of this game. Um, you know, I know, um, you know, watching him as I grew up, uh, not only as a kid, but you know, coming through the system and, and being a baseball player. Just, you know, he's a guy that you always look to to 
Um, I, I guess even though he was on the other side or um, on TV, just kind of a guy you look to to, to do the right things. And, um, you know, he's always done that. He, he's always been a good leader, always uh, done everything the right way. Um, you know, and I think I, I respect that more than, than the, the numbers and everything he puts up on the field, just uh, the way he carries himself, the way he goes about being a being a player here in New York. I mean, we all know how, how difficult that can be, and, and he's always handled it with grace. And he's one of those guys that growing up you, you look you look to be.